Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. I'm Tim and in this episode, this is going to be part three of the free wing Avanti turbine conversion. And in this video, we're mainly going to be focusing on getting all the radio gear in. As you can see, I've got the tank in here and got all the plumbing sorted and also got the turbine installed. That was all done in the last episode. <clears throat> so it's just a case of getting it finished off basically. And by the end of this one, we'll have it ready to fly. So if you're into fixed wing RC and you've enjoyed following along with these videos, then why not subscribe to the channel? It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and it'd be great to have you on board uh, as a subscriber of the channel. Uh, if you enjoy the video, help me out by uh, clicking the like button, give me a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this on the bench and let's get stuck in. Okay, well, following on from the intro there, let me uh, talk you through a few bits here. So um, this episode, as I mentioned, is really just getting this uh, this model finished, um, getting the radio gear installed and getting the all the other bits and bobs ready so it's it can fly. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to the previous episode in the top right hand corner, um, which uh, you can see where I installed the engine, thrust tube, plumbing and all that stuff. So the plumbing was um, quite a big job because um, I've not plumbed in a turbine before, but um, you can see um, it's all there. I'm not going to go through it all because I did that in the last episode, but um, I'm quite pleased with the way it's all gone in there. You can see that I've fitted the tail onto this now, uh, and the main reason for that was um, because I needed to get the, because this is the ARF Plus version, which is what you need to buy if you're going to do a, um, of anti-turbine conversion there's no point in getting the PMP version but if you did get the PMP version it would all all the cables and everything um, I think would be run for you um, or maybe they wouldn't actually because they wouldn't supply it with the tail on um, but basically what you have to do is you have to get the cables run through here so I just used a, a piece of piano wire to pull those through because obviously it's a bit tight with having the fuel tank there um, and then they go down there and then it they plug into the mixer board so it is labeled up where you plug in the um, elevator and the rudder there's two um, cables for the elevators because there's two servos in each side of the um, horizontal stab uh, and then you plug those in there so that does all the mixing for you and then the output here you've only got a single air on the um, connection uh, sorry a single elevator connector and actually a single air on connector as well so that board does all the, the mixing for that uh, but then we've got various other things flaps landing gear uh, and of course the rudder so gonna get all those plugged into the uh, receiver I've ran some snake skin here so these servo cables that I'm talking about that come from the tail I've just covered them in some snake skin they go under there and as I say just plug into that mixer board so that's all gone in nicely let's show you a close up there and then we've got the turbine um, ECU connector here so this is plugged into the turbine so that goes back through there I've just got it sort of coiled up a bit in there because it's quite long this is um, but that's going to go into my ECU and that's the sort of thing I've got to get fitted in this episode so there's three main things that we're going to do um, and that is put the receiver in get that all set up put the ECU in get that all set up and then I've also got to install the batteries and there's going to be two batteries in this I'm going to have one for my turbine and one for the uh, radio gear basically I could because of the space probably run it off one battery the turbine battery and then get a beck to reduce the voltage down for my um, receiver. Well, the receiver can take the voltage, but the servos wouldn't because they're not high voltage servos. Um, but I've decided I'm going to, um, particularly with this being my first turbine, I don't want to take any risks, as it were, and I'm going to use two batteries. So uh, the receiver battery is going to be separate to the turbine battery. So the ECU, let's start having a look at that, is like this from Zykoi. Um, you also get this data terminal, um, but I've gone for the, I think they, they do two versions, um, and I forget the different names of them, I think this is what's called the compact one, um, I can't remember what the other one's called, but basically that one comes with like a sort of more permanent data terminal, which is meant to go in the model, um, this one's designed to just be unplugged basically, so you don't need this connected all the time, um, I think it's called light version actually this is. Um, so what we've got to do here is 
I will leave this cable plugged in. It's just a servo cable. Um, so I'll leave it plugged into the ECU. Um, but as I say, I won't leave that data terminal. So I'll, I'll just label that up data terminal uh, and then I can leave that tucked away somewhere in there. And if I ever do want to monitor the engine, then I can just plug that in and see what's going off. But you don't really need it uh, once you've done the initial setup um, because you can control, you know, you can start it from the um, transmitter. Um, and obviously you can tell if there's some sort of a, a problem. So that's that. And then there's this lead here, which goes off to the receiver, just to the throttle. Um, and then on this side, we've got the fuel pump is going to plug in here. Uh, and I've already run the fuel pump one um, here. And that's just labeled up temporarily as pump. So that's going to plug in there. And then my ECU cable from the turbine is going to go into that connection there. So I think I'm going to put this um, sort of around here like this. Um, I'm probably going to have to stick it down this way. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. So I think I'll just stick that down with like a, a 3M pad there. Um, and then the receiver is a Free Sky Tandem. This is an SR10, so this has got stabilization built, built in as well. I've got to set all that up. Um, and in fact, I need to do that. Uh, before I actually um, fasten this into the model. So I'll probably get that done off camera, just set this up because you have to calibrate this. So you have to turn it on its side and bits and bobs like that. Um, so I'll get that done. But I'm, my thinking is that's kind of going to sit in here like this. So again, I'll just uh, fasten that on with uh, some sticky pads. Uh, and then we've just got to route these. There's three aerials on this because you've got your standard 2.4s here. And then there's this um, 900 meg area as well so not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet because what I'm also thinking is I bought this battery this is quite a nice uh, battery paid a bit more than I would normally pay um, obviously again want to make sure I've got a good quality one so this has got Panasonic Iron Loop Pro cells in it and it's got a nice uh, silicon cable as well from uh, Overlander and that I'm thinking is just basically going to sit down there I just need to secure it in place so I've got to figure out a way of fastening that down there and then my turbine battery is again I went for something um, a bit better quality than if I was just buying say a normal lipo um, so I've got one of these 4 max batteries um, this is 60c so it's plenty uh, plenty of power 2200 milliamp and i'm thinking for this is going to sit in here like this now what i might have to do is cut some foam out of the cockpit um, but you do get in the turbine conversion kit you do actually get um, like these plywood surrounds that so you can cut some foam out and then reinforce it with these plywood surrounds um, I just need to check obviously the CG before I permanently put all these things into place. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna to have to put the wings on, but that's dead easy on this model. They literally just plug in and, uh, and bolt on. So there's a fair bit to do. And I think um, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna get this ECU fastened down and get the, get the receiver fastened in once I've done the calibration. Um, so I'll come back to you and, and show you that with everything cabled up. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. So I've got the receiver mounted. I've got that all bound up to my transmitter. Um, I've not decided where to put the aerials just yet, but I'm going to sort that out. And then I've got the ECU or connector, whatever it's called. For the engine in there, I've got this just sort of dangling around because I'm not going to keep that uh, whilst it's flying. So I'll just leave that lead uh, there so I can hook that up whenever I need to. So... All I need to do now, like I just said, was I'm just going to chuck the wings on it and start messing around with the CG uh, so I can see where I'm going to put these two batteries, basically, to get the CG balanced. Um, so I'll get that done, uh, and then I'll come back to you once I've done that. And really, I think once we've done that, um, we're pretty much there. It's just then, for me, it's just a case of setting up the trim um, on the model, making sure all the surfaces are moving in the right direction. I need to set my gyro up. Uh, and all that sort of stuff um, but uh, I'll do that 
all off camera. So next clip you're gonna see is the last one of this all ready to go and hopefully CG'd up. Okay, here we are with the Avanti all finished and looking sweet. Uh, so I've got everything installed, managed to get the canopy on as you can see. I have had to cut a bit of material out of the canopy. Um, so if I just show you a bit of a close up of how that looks in here. So first of all, that's the section that I had to cut out. Um, so not too bad, just had to notch a bit out the front there as well. And then this is how I've got it all laid out. So I've got the turbine battery there, which is just um, stuck down. Uh, and then my actual receiver battery is in here. So that's just fastened down as well with a cable tie and some sticky sort of pads. So hopefully that's not going anywhere. And as you can see, I've had to add some weight to the nose. Not too much. I think it's about 50 grams, something like that. Um, can't quite remember, but yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, and that it's with that, it's just... Uh, ever so slightly nose heavy um, and I think once the hopefully once the tanks filled with the bubble trap it should be um, a little bit more nose heavy um, so it, fairly neutral basically which um, I'm hoping will be okay for it I've got all the radio gear set up so I've just been messing around now with the transmitter so I've got everything working I've got all my gyro system set up because I'm using the um, FreeSky TD SR10 so this is a so this is a uh, tandem system. So it's 2.4 and um, 900 megs basically to so give me that uh, redundancy. The only little job I've got left to do is literally just along here um, where the servo leads go in. I'm just going to put some E6000 glue or shoe goop. Um, just drip that across there. Basically, that it's almost like um, a rubbery glue. Uh, and it will just secure these in place. Uh, but then if you need to, you can sort of peel it off, but it, it's just an extra little step that I want to do just to secure those. But um, yeah, that's all finished basically. So I'm currently filming this. It's the end of November, probably gonna end up putting this up to YouTube sometime around probably end of Jan or somewhere around there. Obviously it's, there, there is a bit of delay from doing these things to you always have a backlog of the previous ones that you've done. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get this video put out around that sort of time. So I think then it would probably make sense to wait until March time to maiden this um, because I don't really want to maiden it in the winter. Um, but it'd be nice to, once we could start getting a bit nicer weather, that's hopefully when I'm going to maiden it. And yes, it will be probably the most nerve wracking maiden that I've ever done. There's a lot at stake here, um, a lot of money for a start. Um, yeah, so um, it's going to be nerve wracking, but it's going to be fun as well and very rewarding, of course, after doing all this. And if you want to follow along with that, then uh, hit the subscribe button. Great to have you on board as a subscriber. And thanks again to all the people that have subscribed. The channel's really growing well now, so that's uh, amazing. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, of course, um, to subscribe. It'd be great to have you as part of the channel. And uh, if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you do want to watch that Maiden, then hit the bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I release um, a new video. So you'll know when uh, that one's coming out. But in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Um, really appreciate everyone that watches and all the comments that you put on. And I'll see you soon for the next one.